Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our financial freedom series. Ever since I decided to stop trading my time for money, there has been one big wish. If I ever do escape it and find the path of financial freedom, I will try my level best to share this knowledge with as many people as I can. And that's what led me to become India's first passionate freedom mentor and laid the foundation for the massive mission of transforming one billion lives. The financial freedom playlist is a part of this very dream and today's topic is one of the best topic which is very close to my heart, secrets to achieving real success. Yes, real, not the version we are sold on by everyone else around us. You see, in the grand theater of Indian life, where the script often feels pre-written, house, car, fat paycheck, I'm here questioning to rewrite and perhaps add a few plot twists on your own. What if I told you there was more to the story than just materialistic milestone? Curious to learn the whole story? Well, then, ne kam me deri kaisi. Today, we live in a world that's becoming more and more obsessed with wealth and material possessions. But that's not my understanding of success. Let me tell you, true success goes far beyond that. It's about finding joy, experiencing personal growth, and making a positive impact on others' lives. When you add value to someone's life and end up actually making a difference, you don't just change their lives, you change the lives of everyone around them. A beautiful chain reaction gets started. Recently, I read an article about a millionaire doctor who was suffering from a critical illness. He said that no amount of money or materialistic things can give one joy. Now, wait a minute, if money cannot bring you joy, then what else can? Right from childhood, we have been told that a person who has a house or a car or good income, etc. is the only successful person, isn't it? That's why we all chose to chase money blindly. We start by pushing hard to get good grades in the school. Why? So that we can get into a great college and then we, we push again so that placements achi lag jai, right? Wasn't there a meme, bas itna kar lo, fir life set hai? That was really trending, right? You see, we keep pushing one goal after another goal, not realizing we are actually postponing happiness. And only when we reach a point where we have it all, do we realize that our definition of success is completely wrong. You see, materialistic things equals materialistic success, equals temporary joy. If you haven't read my book, Six Sundays a Week, I would suggest you to go ahead and read it. It's from my personal experiences and it talks in depth about how one can go about building the life that every day feels like a Sunday. A favorite quote of mine from it is, success is not what you see, but what you feel, which might make you wonder what real success feels like. It depends on two big factors. Factor number one, freedom. The true success is having freedom to do what you want, whenever you want. And not just that, but the freedom to go where you want to go with your loved ones, your friends, your family, and, and even alone. Complete freedom of time, money, and choices. That's what it is, right? For instance, living a life, it's a six Sundays a week. And when I say Sunday, I don't mean a holiday. You're still working, but it no longer feels like a work. Why? Because you're doing it out of pure passion. And once you start putting your heart and soul into something, all these money, fame, success, you know, it just come to you. I'll share an example of one of my mentees, Nanesh Chaudhary. Nanesh closed his first client, you know, earning 75,000. And the best part, it was an international client. His biggest secret? He started sharing all the valuable knowledge, experiences, and the lessons openly with people on social media. You see, he started by adding value to people first. And Nourish's selfless nature played a huge role in helping him close his first client. That's the power of personal branding done right. Let me share five key things that help Nourish build a successful personal brand. Number one, choosing an expert niche. He didn't pick any other niche. He chose the one he knew most about. And that helped him build authenticity and authority. Number two, creating high value content. He could have kept his knowledge to himself, but he openly shared it. Number three, consistency in posting. This is where I feel 99% of people make a mistake. They start something, but if they don't see results, they give up. Number four, he invested in self-development and found a mentor. Now, this is something that helped him to save a lot of time and avoid a lot of mistakes and speed up his learning. And he, he didn't just become my mentee, 
we did one more very important thing, which is number five, we trusted the process of his mentor and followed it religiously. The result today, he sought after a mentor in animation industry. You see, what I meant when I said, just put your heart and soul into one thing that you love and the result will follow. He chose to create his own path. But are there not people who are happy while they are working nine to five and having less freedom? The answer is yes, right? Feeling confused? Get more clear with the, with the next point. Remember when I said there were two important factors. Here's the other one, factor number two, growth and contribution. When you're able to grow as an individual and also contribute to others, you will feel happy. You see, I have trained over more than 1.5 lakh people. When I see the difference, it has created their lives, I'm telling you, with full of joy and happiness, like a pure bliss. So you see, it's all connected to adding value. And the more value you add, the more happiness you get. You can do this through a job, self-employment, or a business. But when you take the path of a job, there's a problem. At least in my case, it was true. I think many of you might be able to relate to this because I started my career and I loved it for the first few years. But then the time came when I realized that I was not growing enough. I started to see that despite having amazing potential, I, I was not able to you know, get most out of the situation. And out of majority of people, for a few lucky people, this is where the shift happens. And I was one of the lucky ones. I quit my job and started building my business. Of course, you know, there are, there are some people who quit their jobs just to make money and they buy into huge saying, be your own boss. But soon they realized the reason why they started the business was not clear. In other words, their why was not clear. So they struggled to get the business running and it fails within the first five years. This isn't important just for business, but also it's much more important in life. And based on what you are in life, your why can change too. So what stages are you at? You know, in your 20s, if you're young, the chances are you're chasing materialistic success more, right? You're chasing your dream college, your dream grades or high paying job. Most are chasing the money blindly, you know, thinking that, you know, this is the ultimate success. While money is highly important and everyone should make tons of it, please do not chase it blindly, right? Focus on becoming a better version of yourself every day. Upskill yourself and get better understanding of communication and get, get really good at it. You know, you can refer to my playlist called Speak With Confidence, right? It is worth lakhs of rupees, right? Next, find your passion and mission. The more you contribute to others, the value that you give to others and universe, the more value you add, more rewarding life will be. Here's an important secret I wish I knew when I was you know, in 20s. This is the one thing that can separate you from 99% and put you in the top 1%. One thing that most people underestimate. Who wants to learn this? Right, ready? Make sure you never forget this. This will help you when storms come your way. And trust me, they will. Is the mindset. Yes. Mindset is your biggest and most powerful weapon. If you shape it right way, and your 20s and teens, you know, they are the start of the building process. No one teaches you this, but if you see it right way, you will save yourself a lot of stress, worry or hassle. I suggest you go ahead and read the book, 80% Mindset, 20% Skills, to get ahead of this right away. So you love it, you know, if it is your first self-development book, you will really love it, right? So, midlife. The biggest challenge is the midlife. This is the time when you have chosen the path, you have extra you know, responsibilities, and your life is at a very crucial stage. Now, if you're in the midlife, the chances are that you have made good money, have a decent lifestyle with your family, and have reached a good position in your career. But then, something starts hitting you, doesn't it? The feeling of something missing. You have everything you have been racing for your whole life, yet you're not completely satisfied with it. That missing link is that you have reached the glass ceiling in terms of your money chasing game. And you see how money is something you definitely need, but it's never the ultimate goal. This is the time you try to find your real purpose in life. You're in the right place at the right time, but you have yet to become the right person to achieve success in terms of freedom, growth, and contribution. And the way you do that is to find something you truly love and add value to lives of others while at the same time paying you well. Because like I said, money is important, right? If you can't take care of your needs, you won't be able to do your best for others, right? 
Now, if you're at the stage, I suggest you attend my webinar on building a business on passion, right? Here's how I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process of how you quit your job and start a business around the passion. This is the powerful process that I've trained more than 1.5 like mentees in the last few years and countless of them have gone on to changing their lives and the lives of their family as well and more, right? Yes, that's the most you know powerful way of finding your passion and purpose. The passion that pays first to the people you want to help and then the universe pays you back with the freedom and the life you have always wanted. Another thing I want to suggest is that you follow me on social media because here's where I keep sharing a lot of valuable insights and information so that you know ideas may come for free to you. Not to mention I keep conducting free webinars every now and then you can get notified on them as well. Right? Now next stage senior years. The next stage perhaps is the one that should feel the most rewarding of all, you know, is your post 50s. If you're in this age group, you have made more than just good money, you have fulfilled your family duties, but this is the time most people start, you know, becoming aware of their health. I always pray this doesn't happen to you, but many people begin to realize just how fast time slips away from their hands and they never got to do what they love. You know, you start to feel a small amount of regret and then fear starts to rise with the question that stays stuck in your mind. I wish I would have done that while I was young. My suggestion to you is time is now. You know, you soon you will have time freedom, but you will have also fulfillment and joy of contributing to others and making a difference. And by others, I mean your family, your friends and your colleagues. People whose life can be transformed by rich knowledge, experience and lessons that you possess. Imagine even if you change one life, that person turns out to be one driving a big change in the world. Now you have the potential, so I hope you give this a serious thought and I hope this video help you, you know, to see that in detail that time is now. And our bottom line is, the definition of successful person goes beyond superficial levels of wealth and possessions. It's all about finding joy in the freedom to live the life on your own terms, experiencing personal growth, and making a meaningful contribution to the world, right? Let go of society's narrow view of success and broaden your context, the one that aligns your values and brings you true fulfillment. Remember, success is not a destination, but a lifelong journey of self-discovery and purpose. So go ahead with the courage, passion and determination to create your own version of success. You got this, right? Now, this is the video that has helped you in any ways. Um, I don't want you to just keep it to yourself. Share it with your loved ones. I want you to, you know, complete the, the following line for me in the comment section. Success for me is, give me the answer. I look forward to your answer, reading all the answers of beautiful people. This is Dave Gadby. I will see you in the next video. Don't be ordinary, be legendary.